I'll take the affirmative. Take the meanest, most restless nigger. Strip him of his clothes in front of the remaining male niggers, female niggers, and nigger infants. Tar and feather him. Tie each leg to a horse facing in opposite direction, set him on fire, and beat both horses until they tear him apart in front of the male, female, and nigger infants. Bullwhip and beat the remaining nigger males within an inch of their life. Do not kill them, but put the fear of God in them, for they can be useful for future breeding. Anybody know who Willie Lynch was? Anybody? Raise your hand. No one? He was a vicious slave owner in the West Indies. The slave masters in the colony of Virginia were having trouble controlling their slaves, so they sent for Mr. Lynch to teach them his methods. The word lynching came from his last name. His methods were very simple, but they were diabolical. Keep the slave physically strong, but psychologically weak and dependent on the slave master. Keep the body, take the mind. I and every other professor on this campus are here to help you to find, take back, and keep your righteous mind. Because obviously you have lost it. This speech was delivered by Willie Lynch on the banks of the James River in the colony of Virginia in 1712. Lynch was a British slave owner in the West Indies. He was invited to the colony of Virginia in 1712 to teach his methods to slave owners there. The term lynching is derived from his last name. Greetings, gentlemen. I greet you here on the bank of the James River in the year of our Lord, 1712. First, I shall thank you, the gentlemen of the colony of Virginia, for bringing me here. I'm here to help you solve some of your problems with slaves. Your invitation reached me on my modest plantation in the West Indies, where I have experimented with some of the newest and still the oldest methods for control of slaves. Ancient Rome would envy us if my program is implemented. As our boat sails south on the James River, named for our illustrious king, whose version of the Bible we cherish, I saw enough to know that your problem is not unique. While Rome used cords of wood as crosses for standing human bodies along its highways in great numbers, you were here using the tree and the rope on occasions. I caught the whiff of a dead slave hanging from a tree a couple miles back. And you're not only losing valuable stock by hangings, you are having uprisings, slaves are running away, your crops are sometimes left in the fields too long for maximum profit, you suffer occasional fires, your animals are killed. Gentlemen, you know what your problems are. I do not have to elaborate. I am not here to enumerate your problems. I am here to introduce you to a method of solving them. In my bag here, I have foolproof method for controlling your black slaves. I guarantee every one of you that if installed correctly, it will control the slaves for at least 400 years. My method is simple. Any member of your family or your overseer can use it. I have outlined a number of differences among the slaves and I take these differences and I make them bigger. I use fear, distrust, and envy for control purposes. These methods have worked on my modest plantation in the West Indies and it will work throughout the South. Take this simple little list of differences and think about them. On the top of my list is age, but it's there only because it starts with an A. The second is color or shade. There is intelligence, size, sex, sizes of plantations, status on plantations, attitude of owners, whether the slaves live in the valley, on the hill, east, west, north, south, have fine hair, coarse hair, or is tall or short. Now that you have a list of differences, I shall give you an outline of action. But before that, I shall assure you that distrust is stronger than trust, and envy stronger than adulation, respect, or admiration. The black slaves, after receiving this indoctrination, shall carry on and will become self-refueling and self-generating for hundreds of years, maybe thousands. Don't forget, you must pitch the old versus the, the old black male versus the young black male. The young black male against the old black male. You must use the dark-skinned slaves versus the light-skinned slaves and the light-skinned slaves versus the dark-skinned slaves. You must use the female versus the male and the male versus the female. You must also have white servants and overseers who distrust all black, but it's necessary that your slaves trust and depend on us. 
They must love, respect, and trust only us. Gentlemen, these kids are your keys to control them, use them. Have your wives and children use them, never miss an opportunity. If used intensely for one year, the slaves themselves will remain perpetually distrustful. Thank you, gentlemen. First and foremost, I want to thank everybody for taking their time out to listen to the Willie Lynch letter. But I also want to explain the picture that you've seen illustrated in front of you. For some people, it may be real simple to get. For others, they might need a little bit of explanation on what the picture may stand for. But basically, at the bottom of the picture, you see two young black men. One with a gun pointed to his head. The other one with a gun in his hand and he's pointing the gun and attached to the gun you see a string attached to his wrist you see a string and attached to his elbow you see a string and if you go to the left you see a hand and strings attached to the fingers sort of like he's in control of everything the young black men do and I'm going to show you this how this connects to the Willie Lynch letter that he wrote in 1712 and it's 2010 and in the letter he said this may last for 300 to a thousand years and the plan he implemented is still here today we still hate each other we still talk about the old black men young black men it's a generation gap we talk about dark skin light skin everything he implemented in his letter we still struggle with it today. So basically, if you got enough time, well you can go read the Willie Lynch letter and see how it affects you every day. You know, I think you would gladly appreciate it. So, I just wanna thank everybody, it's Dash Living. They say we don't read, so you gotta put everything in video or video format. So that's what I did for y'all, for the youth, and for people that's not gonna read and take their time up. To everybody, they think they make their own decisions, they think they make their own choices. When the whole way your genetic trait and your, your DNA works, or somebody drawing up and creating it. So you live, and you think, and your thought process is what someone created. So Undeniable TV, Dash Living, I'm out.